a solas. A solas means, <laughs> this is a good one, on one's own or alone. Okay? Uh, <laughs> a solas. A solas. A, you know what that means? A means uh, two in Spanish. Solas. Solas. Honestly, that comes, I, I assume that that comes from solo because solas is not a word that is used by itself. So I assume it comes from to be alone, you know, alone, solo, solo. Uh, but I mean, I'm not sure about that, but I can tell you that solas can, it's not used by itself. It's not commonly used by itself. Usually the phrase a solas, that's what it means. It's used like that and it means on one's own or alone. So let's talk about this phrase. Let's look at some examples. Me gusta, me gusta estar a solas. Me gusta estar a solas. This means I like to be on my own or alone. And uh, <laughs> that's a good phrase. That's a good phrase. Um, me gusta means I like. That's a very common phrase. I'm pretty sure you know this. Me gusta. I like. Estar. That's the verb estar. To be. And then the phrase. A solas. On my, on my own. Alone. Okay. Me gusta estar a solas. I like to be on my own. Alone. It's a good. This is a good one. For sure. That's a great question. Is this a solas, you know, feminine, masculine? Can it be used, uh, you know, if if uh, a guy says that? Can a guy says, uh, say that? Uh, or is there any change? Feminine, masculine? You know, you know. Um, yes, <laughs> it can be used if you are a female, male, um, or any other uh, gender, okay? I mean, it doesn't have masculine or feminine. Uh, it's like saying alone, just alone on one's own. Yeah, and says, it's weird because it looks like it's plural and feminine, but it's actually just a phrase that means alone. Solas, by the way, now that I'm looking at it, solas, estar solo, to be alone, estar solas. Sola sounds like you're referring to a group of fem um, a group of, of females, and you can say something like "Por qué están solas?" <laughs> so, <laughs> estar solo, estar solas, estar uh, sola, solos. That's a different thing. That's a different thing. But yeah, it's very much like saying "alone." Okay. Um, but just remember the phrase. We can talk about, uh, you know, that word solo, sola, solos, solas. But uh, that can be another lesson. We're talking about just the phrase. And yeah, it stays as it is. You don't have to change anything. Great question, Christopher. Now, quiero cinco, quiero cinco minutos a solas con él para hablar. Quiero cinco minutos a solas con él para hablar. <laughs> to talk about something. I don't know. This means I want five minutes alone with him to talk. This is very, very interesting because... Um, <laughs> Because you just want to take someone apart. You know, you want to to grab someone's attention. You need to talk to this person alone. Just you and the person. So this is a perfect, perfect phrase for that if you want to do that. Quiero cinco minutos. Quiero. I want. Cinco. 
5 minutos, 5 minutes, 5 minutes, a solas, a solas, alone, con, with, el, with an accent mark, remember that, if not, if you forget the accent mark, it means the, okay, so it will be a definite article, masculine definite article, el, the, el, uh, for example, el auto, the car, right? Without the accent mark. With the accent mark, it means him or he, okay? With him, con él, para, to, in this situation, hablar, talk, okay? Quiero cinco minutos a solas con él para hablar. I want five minutes alone with him to talk. So, this is a great, another great advanced phrase that I recommend you learn and master because it's pretty good, pretty, pretty good. Again, this one is used in the whole Spanish world, Spain and Latin America. <laughs>